connected to the work that I did with teacher perseverance is I, you know, interviewed over 40 teachers who were uh, 15 years or more into education consecutively. And I thought they were doing me a favor, right? Like I thought, um, I thought, thank you so much for taking the time during fall of 2020. We all know how that was going. And I just kept saying, thank you. And what was so surprising to me to answer the question was they were the ones thanking me. They were like, thank you for giving us a voice and thank right. you for letting us share our story. And I didn't expect that because one of the things that came out of it, so there's four themes that came out of their right. interviews and they are higher calling community, the only option and contextual joy. And those are fleshed out through their narratives, through their you know quotes, through their storytelling, all of that. But higher calling is one of them. And I think to the point of toxic positivity, higher calling can have that duality feeling of, uh, it. yes, it's great. I have a higher calling. I have a groundedness in whatever, like spiritual or faith or anything of like why I'm doing this, just some sort of purpose. But people might say, teaching is a higher calling. So therefore it's okay that we treat you this way, right? Like, because it's a higher calling. And so we can pay you this or we can, you know, do these things. And that's not okay, right? There are still boundaries that need to happen where we can make systems better for people. And it can also be a higher calling. I just think it's not a but, like a, it's not a either or, it's just an and, right? It can be a higher calling and we can also treat you better and understand that education needs to be fixed and changed and updated and uh, helped in a lot of ways. Um, but it doesn't just exclude the higher calling from existing and the fact that we can focus on the positives and the legacy work that teachers have mm. and the fact that we really do make a difference in all fields uh, because of the work that educators do. And so it's just the mindset cha change of not saying it's all good or all positive. I certainly shared some of the struggles of some right. of the teachers' journeys, including my own. It reads part narrative on my own story. Um but there is a focus on the positive bend because it is incredible. We get to impact people every single day. And I love that that is ultimately the work we are doing is being in the business of growing people. And that is to me more meaningful than anything else.